now let us discuss about converting regular expression into finite automata let the regular expression is epsilon then the finite automata is here we require two states here this is the first state and this is the second state let it be final state so on applying epsilon we can move from this state to the this state uh, let the regular expression is a input symbol a so here also we require two states so this is the first state let this is the final state so on applying a we will move from this state to the this state and let the regular expression is a plus b then we require two states for representing a on applying a we will move from this state to the this state next we can represent b like this next plus stands for union uh, so we can perform union operation on a and b uh, by creating uh, two states let this state is final state so on applying epsilon we can go from this state to the this state so here also we have to apply epsilon 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 next a dot b so dot stands for concatenation so for a we require two states for representing a we require two states next for representing b also uh, we can require two states let it be the final state next here we can perform concatenation operation between uh, this automata and this automata by applying uh, uh, input a from this state to the this state okay so like this we can represent uh, uh, a dot b uh, let's see the last operation the last regular expression is uh, uh, a star a star so in order to represent a we require two states next uh, for applying star we require two more states here on applying epsilon we will move from this state to the this state on applying epsilon we can go from this state to the this state let it be the final state so here star means zero occurrences or uh, any number of occurrences so zero occurrences means uh, we have to establish a connection like this by applying epsilon next uh, we can have any number of occurrences uh, so for that uh, we have to apply epsilon from this state to the final state so like this we can represent the regular expression uh, now let us see an example in order to convert a regular expression into the finite automata uh, let the regular expression is uh, 0 plus 1 whole star 0 plus 1 whole star into 0 into 1 so first we have to represent 0 plus 1 so for representing 0 we require two states for representing 0 we require two states next we can represent 1 like this next plus means we require two more states we require two more states union operation so concatenate like this uh, union like this so we have to apply epsilon symbol so we can represent 0 plus 1 like this next we have to apply 0 plus 1 whole star that is similar to the a star so in order to have a star we require two more states we require two more states so apply apply epsilon symbol here apply epsilon apply epsilon so 0 plus 1 whole star so on applying epsilon we can go from we can go from this state to the this state and here also on applying epsilon we can move from this state to the this state so 0 plus 1 whole star is over next we have we need to have uh, 0 and 1 so we can uh, apply 0 on this so that we can move to the another state next uh, apply one on this state so we can move to the another state like this so this one will becomes the final state so here dot means uh, uh, which operation concatenation operation so between these two we have to apply epsilon okay uh, so it is better to write in four steps in step one represent zero plus one in step two represent zero plus one whole star in step three represent zero one and in step four uh, just concatenate them okay concatenate them so like this we can convert uh, regular expression into the finite automata